Whether it be spinning a ceiling fan to keep us cool or the washing machine to clean our clothes, everyone has experienced the works of an electric motor. For youngsters, clipping a supermarket bought battery to a terminal to feed power to a speedy toy car may well have been the precursor to the electric vehicle they'll be steering decades later. An internal combustion engine is immensely complex, spread all beneath the bonnet of a car, while an electric motor exists in a housing that is a sealed off package deal requiring less maintenance. No grubby oil or filter changes, for example, although they do run hot, so a cooling system is required. Inside, electric motors convert electrical energy to mechanical energy via current running through a magnetic field. That then spins a rotor connecting with a rotating shaft. There are different methods of achieving the same result for the driver. Alternating current, direct current, and a hybrid synchronous variety. But onboard chargers and inverters do the job of converting where required. Either way, feed a motor with power and it just switches on. Want to go faster in an electric vehicle? Engineer a bigger motor. It explains how Tesla claims its Model S P100D can accelerate from 0 to 100 km an hour in just 2.7 seconds with only a single speed transmission. Incidentally, electric vehicles only need one gear because unlike an internal combustion engine, which reaches maximum revolutions then requires a different ratio to lower and raise them as speeds rise, an electric motor sends an instant surge of torque to the wheels. The big issue for electric vehicles are their batteries. Our suburban train network can power along electricity due to overhead wires providing supply, but vehicles must independently move like one ton plus smartphones. Battery packs are made up of cells, and currently their energy density is not a patch on petrol, so many must be used, and that adds weight. For a 200 to 400 km range these days, batteries alone can add half a ton to a vehicle's curb mass. Consider it a cruel diminishing of returns too. The heavier the battery, the more drain the electric motor must place on it to overcome mass, thus depleting energy more quickly. This is why until forecast energy density improvements materialize, manufacturers can either choose a large or expensive battery to remove things along and then charge buyers for the privilege, which is what Tesla does, or they can limit the cost, but also the usable range, or add a petrol range extender option. A range extender, or REX, is different to a plug-in hybrid, where the engine can dominate and the electric motor is often a supporting act. Here, the petrol engine charges the batteries but plays no part in turning the wheels, but they join together in ramping up the weight burden. And where kilowatts are all about power delivered, commonly the output of an engine or motor, kilowatt hours are all about energy. For example, the Tesla makes a maximum 311 kilowatts of power, the equivalent of a modern turbocharged V6 petrol engine. Yet, a kilowatt hour is the equivalent of running a 1000 watt microwave for an hour. It's what energy companies use to bill us for energy. And to understand how much of it a Model S P100D requires, it has a 100 kilowatt hour battery, the equivalent energy of 100 microwaves running for an hour. It's also useful to try and understand charging potential. With a single phase 10 amp and 240 volt charging station claimed to take eight hours to fill an electric band WI3, but a 30 amp 240 volt installation can reduce this to just three hours. Meanwhile, public infrastructure, fast chargers, such as Tesla's supercharger network, can provide up to 250 amps and 400 volts to charge its enormous battery pack in as little as 90 minutes. Even in that best case, it's no three-minute service station refuel with a tank of unleaded petrol. But all major manufacturers have promised that future technology will bring that time down while increasing range. And importantly, all without changes to battery size and mass. That's why many car makers believe the battery is the future of the car.